What's going on, guys? Welcome to the first session of Creepy Cast, where we have various Ooh. members of the Creepy family come in and just give their opinions on several topics that I provide. Of course, I am your host, Creepy Uncle Vito. Joining me today is Dancing King 53, aka Miles. Hola, como estas? Que paso? Uh, also joining me is It's Vortex, aka Logan. I'm glad you didn't say Logan Z Gaming. Thank you. It is Logan C Gaming from now on. It's going to be in the subtitles. <laughs> Logan Z Gaming. Also, we nice have joining us Scoods, aka Scoods. What's up, guys? Because he is only known by one name here, not Jared. He is Scoods. My name's Scoodaloodaloos. Yeah. Scoodaloodaloos. Actually, I need to turn Scoods up a little bit. He's a little quiet. <laughs> yeah. Sponsored by. The Creepy Family, the creepy family app. app. Yeah, Creepy Family <laughs> Reunion app. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God, we do. M Miles said this before we started recording that we really need to do a Dead by Daylight video again. J uh, the four of a well, Miles. Uh, oh, yeah. Sean can join in now. Especially yeah. the new, we just have um, to do yeah. a Kill Your Friends. Say what? Yeah. We just have to do a Kill Your Friends. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. As long as I'm not the killer, I hate being the killer. I remember that one time when I made you drink because, like, I kept sabbing all the hooks. <laughs> Not only did you make me drink, I legit almost went to the hospital for, like, alcohol poisoning. That was more Good depressing God. than when me and my first girlfriend broke up. That was so fucked. <laughs> that was so fucked up. Okay. Oh, I made you drunk you into a coma. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. The topic of this video, though, uh, basically the way these podcasts are going to work is just giving general topics just for everybody to discuss, because in our downtime, we'll end up going for hour-long tangents about random shit, so I figured I might as well record it. <laughs> okay. Given that the year 2020 so far, only going through about half the year, has been full of absolute utter horse shit... <laughs> Everything ranging from Australia damn near being burned down, threats of World War Three, Kobe Bryant died. Uh, a name I Didn't can't. That happened this year. I forgot about that. I I thought that happened last year. No, that was oh. this year. <laughs> that was this year, dude. You've freaking, been too busy, dude. Freaking um uh oh crap. What's his name from Lord of the Rings? Uh, mm. freaking Frodo's dad or uncle or whatever. He died. Um. Uh. Am I the only Lord of the Rings fan? Well, apparently I'm not much of a fan because I can't remember the da damn guy's name. Uh-huh. I'm more of a Harry Potter person myself. <laughs> well, screw you, Hufflepuff. Um... <laughs> I'm Ravenclaw to you, sir. <laughs> All right. But d 2020 being one of the most disappointing years that we all can remember, at least me and myself, I would like everybody to... Tell me, what has been some of the most disappointing games, movies, if you watch anime or read manga, you can answer Ooh. that. What has been the most oh disappointing that you were excited for? Okay, I'll be straight up. Mm -hmm. The new Spider-Man game. Reason being is, I I'm not saying this, I mean, I, I, like, I like Miles Morales' character in the game, but I feel like he should have been like a DLC rather than an entire game. I feel like, I feel like they probably, they probably should have went more uh, more with Peter Parker's side, you know? I, mean, I feel like they could do more with them, you know? Wait, wait, it's about um, the Spider-Man PS4 game? Yeah, they, they're making a new one, and Miles Morales is going to be the new, um... Wait. The new... Oh! No, I... Uh, okay, I thought... Like, wait a minute. Did I miss something on that game? <laughs> I meant I meant games that have come out, but all right. Oh, at least I meant games are coming out. Oh, I, well, we could do that, too. We could do that, too. I just thought it was just games that were that have already come out, but... <laughs> oh, okay. okay, my bad, my bad. We can do that too. But hang on, really? I might just piss off Dread and say hi, Tail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, the biggest <laughs> thing that uh, made me sad. What? Makes... Is that what you said? No, disappointed. Like you were excited for it, and then it's disappointing. Or just right. any game that disappointed you in general, or a game that you can already see is going to be a disappointment. Hmm. Yeah. I still need to Let's turn Scoots up. Where do I start? <laughs> oh, God. Like I said earlier, Scoots, Scoots is probably going to be the best <laughs> person to go off on tangents. So go for it, Scoots. Mm -hmm. I, I have to think real quick. Mm -hmm. 
worst possible game that I was looking really forward to. Yeah. Um, I gotta look at my wish list. <laughs> that I I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying it's completely terrible. Like, I mean, I'm still gonna play it. You know, but do you have but, any games that you were disappointed of that have come out? Um, I'll be honest with you. I have. I was really disappointed in Half Life, Alex. Really? Yeah, I really was. I was really looking forward to like a continuation of the Half Life series. But I guess they decided to make a prequel in VR because that's easier. But yeah. uh, honestly, it, it it just I don't like it because how mm, how dumbed physics. down it is. No, the physics are amazing, but like there's no like melee gameplay. You know what I mean? You're limited yeah. to like <laughs> a couple guns in the game, right? It's just honestly a big letdown, and I don't really see the hype for it. Right. But you know what, Vito, I want to I get your take on this because I, I never asked you yet, and I think it's a probably, probably good idea to ask you now since we're on the podcast. What do you think about um, the new Resident Evil game coming out? I want to see. I want to hear your thoughts about. Are you talking about Resi Eight, the werewolf thing? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> um, <laughs> if that says anything, I don't know because like because the the main guy that was in the trailer that was Chris, right? Right. Chris has been through more bodily changes than Michael Jackson. I don't know what the <laughs> hell has happened to him. In Resident <laughs> Evil, okay, in the original Resident Evil, I'm talking like Resident Evil 1, and even with the uh, remake, yeah, he was buff, but he wasn't like Arnold Schwarzenegger, steroid. Not that I'm saying Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arch, Arch, I'm not saying the Terminator used steroids. I cannot say this dude's name to save my life. But like with that one, <laughs> he was he was ripped. He was in shape. He was fine. It was fine. It was believable anyway. With Resident Evil Five, that was like anime uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures kind of ripped. Um. Then in Resident Evil Six, he was the same thing, just pulled back a little bit, but he kind of looked a little bit more depressing. Um. I'm not saying depressing. He looked like he was more bummed out. And then with Resident Evil 7, at the end of that, spoilers, of course, With the, at the end of that, he, I did, almost didn't even know it was him when I beat the game. It's like, wait, who is this guy? And if he wouldn't have said his name, I would have thought it was just some random dude, like somebody who worked for a hunk or something like that. With Resident Evil 8 coming out, unless I'm remembering it incorrectly, doesn't it look like he kind of went through a bender at Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was about to say, it looks more like he's on the chunkier side than, like, strong. Yeah, it's almost bulky, like, yeah. he still looks strong, but it's more akin to, uh, like, he's kind of doing that, uh, oh, what is it, the strongman competitions, where they're like, they're chubby, right. but they're like, you know they would kill you, like, just, all they gotta do is, like, tap you with their pinky, and all of a sudden, they are just done. <laughs> King <Kingpin. One. laughs> <clears throat> but I would say I'll play it because I like the atmosphere of it. But as far as Chris, when it comes to that, I don't honestly, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I mean, I hope it goes the same route as Resident Evil 7 because I love that one. That's probably been one of my favorite, not my absolute favorite. That still goes to number four. But <sighs> I'm concerned. <laughs> I think what would help it a lot is if they they would keep they would keep his hair almost like gray as it, it kind of was gray in the fourth game right it, it was it was more of like a gray than like a brown right but I feel like they went more on the brown side in the in the newer games so that's kind of caught it caught it caught me off guard anyway like he kind of had that. like like he dyed it or some shit or right yeah no like his hair was like gray in the fourth game right it was almost like fifth. a gray fifth Resident Evil Four yeah, was right. yeah Resident Evil Four was um uh, Leon S Kennedy. Right. I've never played Resident Evil. You've not played any of them? Yeah, me neither. None of you have? Never touched mm -mm. it, no. I've always wanted to because I'm a really big fan of horror games, like Outlast, Dead by Daylight. I played both the Outlast games. I loved Amnesia. Um, but one one that I was kind of like, meh about was uh, Pacify. Like, that's a good game to play with friends, but and also Deceit. But Deceit, I don't know. I don't like it very much. Like, I tried to play it with a bunch of friends, and it was just not my game. 
deceit uh, deceit in my opinion is kind of one of those it's it's intentionally or it should just be a free to play game like it's something you pick up whenever you're bored if we had to mm-hmm. pay, if we had to pay for it i probably would have asked for a refund yeah i mean it's got the same basic thing. um miles you actually i think you just picked it up like mm-hmm. 10 minutes ago but like white noise 2 i feel like that took the De- uh, gameplay of deceit and made it better because looking mm. looking between the two of them again this is my own opinion but i feel like deceit versus uh white noise 2 i feel like white noise 2 is definitely a creepier atmosphere well deceit is free no, it is free to play I, yeah i know but i'm talking about white noise <laughs> i think white noise has got a better oh. better atmosphere it's more creepy because if you get below, I think it's like 50% health, you cannot see shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it is terrifying. Like, Logan can confirm with me, like, when we were playing uh, on a video, on the video, I think I've uploaded it uh, here before too long. Uh, not as of recording this, but I know that, uh, like, Logan may confirm this uh, with me. But when we played against, uh, I think it was either Sean or the bot, but I got hit and blood was on my screen for the rest of the match, even after I healed. And I could yeah. not see a damn thing. <laughs> right. I don't know, but... But say, what about well, you? Well, the one game I'm kind of hyped for, like, is there a game that you've been playing during quarantine that you're, like, addicted to right now? Because... My two are the new Animal Crossing game and Mortal Kombat 11. Like, I've been, like, playing those nonstop. And DVD. And DVD. Yes, and DVD. How many well, hours? that's a normal for me. I play a DVD every day, so... How many hours do you DVD have in it right now? How many hours? Um, 3,135 hours. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Miles, you were playing for 20 hours consecutively. So. <laughs> yes. You've got more hours in DVD than some professional Call of Duty players. Goodness. I didn't think it was that much. Like, some people have, like, 5,000, 6,000 hours, and I'm like, well, I don't have that much. Well, you're looking at, like, a top percentile for that. Like, I think I personally have... Hang on, let me look. at. I haven't even fired up Steam today. <laughs> but, like, I think I have, like, maybe 400 hours? Yikes. Let me take a look. Yeah, I know. You have one, 191. That's me? Uh-huh. Oh, Logan looked at that quicker than me. So never mind. I don't Jared even have... I, don't even, I have Jared. less than half of what I thought I had. I have not even 200 hours. Jared's yeah. got 268. Uh, hello? We can hear you, bro. Okay. okay. Sean's got 18. 18, <laughs> 18 hours? Yes. Wow. 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 What are you, what are, well, I mean, he's not that great, so, I mean. I'm not either. <laughs> yeah. I did I got 651. Update. What do you got, I Scooch? Updated it. I have uh, 268, almost 9. Yep. I'm going to go play for another hour. Get 9. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but, dude, you play more VR games than anything else. Like, you play, I'm like, Blade and Sorcery a lot and Beat Saber. I spent five, well, not 500. I spent, like, 350 bucks on a VR headset. Of course I'm going to yeah. play VR. See, I'm still, out of, I think out of everybody who is on the Creepy Family server on Discord, I am the only one who does not have a VR headset. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess so. Miles, I mean, hey, I'll sell you mine because mine is a piece of crap and doesn't work on my computer anymore. Wait, why doesn't it work on your computer anymore? Because the new update came out and you have to have a 3.0 port to use it and, or, is it a 3.0 or a 2.0, Jared? 3.0. Three, yeah, three. 3.0 and mine doesn't have them. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm good, because in all honesty, I'm trying to declutter the amount of junk that I have in my life. <laughs> like, the amount of crap I used to have just in my room alone was astonishing. I just gave a bunch of shit to Goodwill. Like, yeah. quite literally, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this to you guys, or if it's even in a video, but at one point, I had 10,000 CDs. Oh, gosh. So you were, like, a music collector, or just you liked... Yeah. Well, what it was, um, 
actually, I'm not going to say this because uh, it'll get me in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> a lot of trouble. Uh, but basically, the extent of it was I collected music to essentially as like, as like impulse buys when you go to Walmart and there's like that five dollar bin. I was yes. like, okay, this looks interesting. Oh, I'll take this. I'll take this. Next thing I know, I just spent eighty dollars in CDs, and I would do that every every single time I went to Walmart. <laughs> Just to collect CDs. <laughs> Mind you, I started collecting CDs before Spotify Pandora was even a thing. So, I was in trouble. But now that I got a Spotify premium uh, account, uh, I just got rid of all 10,000 of those CDs. Amen. Did you sell it? How much did you make from it? Or did you just give it away? I just gave it to Goodwill because literally they were in, like, you know those giant totes you can get at Walmart? The, yes. that you have to like pretty much just look at your shoulders to reach all on both sides. I had four. Yeah. I had four of those filled with CDs. Dang! Did you listen to them all? Uh, yeah. At one point wow. or another. Not regularly, because some of them I listened through all the way once, and I was like, "This is absolute garbage." And then mm-hmm. I just put it in back in the toe, and then that was it. Yeah. And so I got rid of those. I got rid of all the comic books because I don't. Read them. Yeah. Um, the only thing I still have left in my room, as far as like stuff I'm not getting rid of, aside from the obvious, like you know, like uh, PS4 games, like the physical cases, I collect manga and anime, de- anime Blu-rays. So I'm not. Getting- <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a weeb. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not getting rid of those because they were expensive, and I still watch them regularly. But yeah. I would say, in all honesty, I've probably, if I'm doing the math, and this is going to make me so sad, um, I've probably just donated to Goodwill what probably realistically cost me the better part of fifteen to $20,000. Dang. Mind you, this was me actively collecting since I was 10 or 11 years old. And I am, I turned 29 next month, so it's spaced out, but it does not make me feel good about it, but I'm just glad it's gone. It's my room is less decluttered. So it's kind of like, you know, that like, uh, OCD relieved meme thing where the guy just like, ah, yes. Yeah. That's basically me, but I have a beard and hair (laughs) and I am pale white. (laughs) All right. Well, like, what do you what do you get out of donating to Goodwill? Anyway? Like, I, I heard some like tax. A good yeah, you get money. like tax reductions. <clears throat> you do and stuff. Mm-hmm. Whoopsie! Yeah, you can ask them for that. Whoopsie! You to Goodwill? <laughs> I didn't collect <laughs> that shit. Yeah, you have to ask them like at the drop off. Like they ask you if you they're supposed to ask you if you want a tax reduction. Oh uh, well, here's the thing. I dropped them off during quarantine when it was just curbside service only for drop-offs. So uh, I don't think I had that option because nobody was out there. It was literally, there was like a big box and I just put the totes like right next to them. And that was it. Cause I also did those and I think I got rid of like 80% of my books. Cause I either read them all or, or I wasn't going to read them because I got, like, the first two in the series. And I read the first one and it was absolute shit. So mm-hmm. I just got rid of those and just kept the books that I actively use. Yeah. But we went way off topic. Um, yes. Uh, Miles, what about you? What is probably the, the most disappointing game that has come out, I will say, in the past ten years for you? In the past ten years? Um... <laughs> I'd say, gosh, there's a lot of disappointing games. Like, mostly right now, since of quarantine, I've just been playing Debbie Daylight on my computer. I haven't been playing much anything else on my computer. But out of, like, the Switch and stuff, like, um, like I've played a lot of Switch games since quarantine. And really, I think, like, okay. games like... Uh, What's okay. it called? Uh, sorry, if you heard record, if you heard kids in the background, uh, my sister has a few friends and their kids are over. They just came in and said bye. That's right. Uh, um. So, uh oh. But the quarantine. You said like the majority of, like the Switch games, like 
Mm-hmm. Any of them been a disappointment or something? Or I mean, I've debated whether or not buying some, like, uh, Mario Party, because I've heard... Like, whenever I first got a Switch, I was really on the fence about getting Mario Party, because they say it was a really bad Switch game. But now that I have it, it's not that bad. What I am disappointed about, though, is all of the the fighters that are coming this week in Smash... Or in this uh, this year in Smash Bros. Like, they're adding the lady Ar- from ARMS, a terrible Switch game. You know, like, like Mimi? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I have Super Smash, but I, I haven't played it much. To get, like, all the fighters, isn't there, like, a pass or something you have to buy, or... How does that... How does no, you just unlock them in-game. Like, how do you unlock Like, there them? is DLC, but, I mean, you... That's just with a lot of games like that. <clears throat> but, like, you just play the game, and you'll eventually unlock all the fighters? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, there's... How many fighters are there in this? A lot! Like, non-DLC related. Let me look. Wait, okay, so there's fighters you can you can unlock, but there's also fighters you can just buy? Yeah. Like, like uh, let me uh, let me see all the characters. I know Banjo and Kazooie's in there. Like, can, um, can you realistically just, uh, just not buy any DLC and just play the game enough and you'll get all of them? Or do you have to buy the DLC to get all the characters? If like, you want to get the DLC characters, you have to buy them. <clears throat> so there's Joker from uh, what's it called? Persona, Persona Five. Persona Five. There's Hero. Uh, Hero. Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, he's from what's this? Is he Joker was in it. Dragon Quest. Not, not the Joker. Uh, you're Dragon. not the Joker. You're familiar with Logan. It's uh, no, there's no. a character it's in emo. a the character yeah. in a game called Persona Five. It's the I think it's yeah. the main character you play as. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's the emo I think, Joker. I, think I commissioned it for me to draw him. That's a yeah. It's a very emo Joker. Yes. I mean, but he is really overpowered in that game. In Persona Five or in Smash? In Smash. Okay. He is very good in Smash. But anyway, there's also Terry. He's from like this fighting game I've never played. Um, but they have Banjo Kazooie, Terry, and Byleth. Byleth. <clears throat> and Byleth is my favorite yeah she's from the uh i bet it shows how often i play super smash bros like the last super smash bros that i played was on uh uh nintendo 64 yeah wait did you play melee no i played like uh, super smash 64 that's how old i am Mm. yeah but those are all the fighters that are in dlc and the new one is, like, this uh, chick from ARMS. It's a really bad Nintendo game. Actually, I'm going to say that that is the Nintendo game that I was really excited about, and then it was a whole, like, like the worst game on the Switch. It's just not good for, like, playing, really. It's not, like, a good... It's not worth the $60. What is, what is it called? ARMS? ARMS. Mm-hmm. Oh, this game! Yeah. Okay. And the, one of the fighters is coming to Smash. Whoa, dude, that, this game looks good. What game? Arms. Arms. You do realize, Scoods, as part of a podcast, they cannot see what you're uploading to Discord? <laughs> I know. I know. That's the funny part. <laughs> Not funny for me! Because no, I want to show it! Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> but the good thing, though, is like she's the one out of... Uh, Two, three, four, five, six. She's one out of six that are in the new fighter pass. Like, so, how many fighters are in uh, Super Smash now? That's what I was looking at real quick. Hold on. Miles, it's got a four out of five. Yeah. Well, it's not. Like, that's why. I don't know. It's not a good game at all. You can't trust rating systems anymore, man, because. 47. 47 or, characters? 74. 74. 74? Mm-hmm. Wait, on uh, Smash? Yeah, on Smash Ultimate. So, bro. What? <laughs> That's more yeah. characters than GTA 5. Dude, when is Mortal Kombat going to get that many? Yeah. Uh, Mortal Kombat has a lot, like, a lot of good ones already. Not 74? Not, like, like, no. I mean... Let me see. How do they afford the rights to all those characters? It's Nintendo. Yeah, it's Nintendo. 
Yeah, Nintendo is like Disney, but Japanese. Yes. <laughs> Nintendo's actually American. Well, there's a better. Nintendo America, but like, <laughs> Nintendo is like based out of Japan. There are 34 characters that are in MK11 right now. That you can play as. Uh, still lower than 74, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, I mean, they just recently added um, Fujin and Bro Robocop, <clears throat> which are real... Robocop's really fun. Fujin's one of my favorites. Um, they just uh, added Sindel back. They added Terminator. They added Spawn. Uh, they added Joker. Like, the Joker from the Batman series. Um, they added Shang Tsung back. Uh, who else? Spawn's way too fun. Huh? Spawn's way too fun. Oh, yeah, he's pretty fun. But hey, also, own endings. Uh, Vito, I don't know if I told you about this, but I did definitely tell Logan because I gave him a copy of the game. Um, my ma my parents used to babysit one of the developers of MK11. So, um, for my graduation gift, she gave me. All the DLC, all of, uh, like, a whole free down, two oh. free downloads of the game hold of up. a developer version. Hold up, hold up. No, 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 Tom, you cannot just move over that like you just mowed the lawn. I mean, hold on. No, 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 no. He's not lying. He's not I am lying. not lying. <laughs> Your I mother babysit a developer of Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. And you think that is not something that you just mentioned oh so casually? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was brought up to me like that. Because, uh, like, I told my uncle, I said, hey, I play... Uh, he was like, so what games do you like to play? Because he was trying to get me a, a gift. And I was like, oh, I play... Right now I've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat 11. She was like, no way, because... Uh, your parents used to babysit someone who is a actual developer. Uh, she, she. Uh, there's a picture of her online with Snoop Dogg when he was ba he was testing the beta of the game. Hold on! No! 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 Your mom is has a picture with Snoop Dogg as well. <laughs> no, the developer. Oh, the developer to, who the fuck is your mom? And like, are you famous? <laughs> She's the first woman. No. <laughs> I was about to say, hold on. Uh, I was about to say, Miles, are you famous and you just forgot to tell us? But also, like, the the new characters, like, the new story mode, I got to play it before everyone else did. Because, like, it was a developer cut edition, so I got the new characters and stuff a month early. Well, rub it in. And I got to play them online. There's going to be some jealous uh, viewers. <laughs> yeah, all four of them. Um... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, like, I started this little, I just started this podcast, it's like, I don't know, where you go off on these tangents, and a lot of it ends up being really funny, so I figured, why not record it? I would not think I would have just had a fucking revelation that one of the OG members of the creepy family is, their parents babysat somebody that works on Mortal Kombat 11. Mm-hmm. Yo, my dad made Roblox. <laughs> yeah, that's why. You, yeah, sure, that's why you live in Ohio. Dang. Hey, don't dox me! <laughs> oh, yeah, my dad's super rich and famous. Oh, yeah, we live out in the middle of the cornfield in the heroin counties. Jake Paul <laughs> lived in Ohio. Yeah, that's cool, nah, but my dad, um, he owns Microsoft. He's, he owns the Xbox 360. My <laughs> uncle works at Nintendo. Dude, yeah, she gave me two copies of that, so I gave one to Logan because he had a P it was a PS4 edition, so I gave it to yeah. him for uh, his birthday. It's like dev skins and stuff too. Yeah, there's a bunch of dev skins in there as well. The ever loving shit did really. Yeah, yeah. Miles, I Miles, thought. I do realize you and I haven't talked too much in the past <laughs> couple of years. But this shit, like, all of a sudden, just poof! That, that's what. Mm -hmm. Probably knows Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who he is. I know who he is. <laughs> yeah, I know who he is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, I know who. Yeah, Jesus I'm gonna come is. back. I'm gonna. Amen, dude. At this rate, I'm gonna come back next week 
whenever we do the second cat uh second session of this and f- come to find out oh yeah you have a famous uncle Vito oh really who was he uh he was a cannibal out in Oklahoma I was like <laughs> wait what Miles was Hannibal Lecter yeah I'm related to I I have a relative that's Hannibal Lecter uh, <laughs> freaking Miles is like getting Mortal Kombat 11 shit early Scooge's dad made Roblox <laughs> Roblox are not <laughs> not road blocks. Roblox. You know he did make roadblocks though. <laughs> did he make them or cause them? He made them. Dude. He's the reason they're there now. Yes. <laughs> he went on a crime spree. It's Ohio. What else is there to do? <laughs> dude, I live in Indiana. Uh, I have no room to talk. I literally live in between two cornfields. Bro, I went to Oklahoma. Amazing. All right. Yeah, he did come down here with me. Oh, yeah. For and I'm your... over here 10 minutes from the so-called second Hollywood. From my graduation party. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> your graduation yeah. from high school? Yes. Do you think Atlanta City is going to be the new Hollywood? From what people are saying? <laughs> I don't know. Depends on if they... I hope, hope not. The reason why... I know I know a reason that started because Justin Bieber said he's going to move to Atlanta. Which I'm like, please don't. <laughs> I'm about to say it'll be the riots problem. all over again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Essentially. I mean. I have uh, wait, where'd Scoots go? I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay. Sco- there he goes so, again. Scoots may be having technical difficulties. Yes. Uh, you got another question on that list? <laughs> uh, the question is, what the hell happened to Scoots? Uh, my Wi-Fi <laughs> went off. Your Wi-Fi you went off? Okay. Yeah. Dude. I'm gonna go to bed, Jared. I'm to go oh to my bed. god, I remember that one. I'm gonna go to bed, Jared. It's 8 o'clock! <laughs> <laughs> I loved that, that whenever we were playing GTA that one time. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jared! <laughs> and you pulled the plug while Jared was mid scream and it cut off. And we were playing GTA and we just couldn't stop laughing for a solid time. So he, count- he did a countdown. It was perfect. It was one, then I a quick second, harassed. then he did a couple minutes. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was on my old computer, too, whenever I could run GTA on that. I'm saying. See, like, the worst I get is if I do record or play games late at night like I used to for GTA. Mm-hmm. The worst my sister has ever sold me, like, how late were you up? I was like, 3 a.m.? I was like, you're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the yeah. worst she's done. Really? I, that's rookie number. I stayed up 24 hours. I No, I take that back. I stayed up 72 hours before. <clears throat> Are you so on crack? So no, I was not. I was on a lot of uh, monster coffee and um, yeah, just, just that. What? I was on a lot of monster and coffee. Why? Two nights ago. Why were you doing this, and how are you not I, dead? I had a lot of work that week, so like I had um, an all nighter at my church, and then the next day I had a double, and then I couldn't go to sleep because I had to like because it was an all nighter, so I could I didn't have a chance to rest. So then I went and did my double, and then the next day I had a double too. So it was. A pretty stressful week. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. And I now have issues of sleeping to this day, but that's fine. Not I just take melatonin and it's okay. Just take melatonin. <laughs> yeah, you're you're 18, 19 years old, and all of a sudden you got a melatonin addiction or whatever it's called. Really, I have a, I have like a huge like jar of melatonin near in my bed. In he my, actually uh, does. Stand. He's not lying. I saw it. You are too yeah, young to have this kind of a drug problem. Oh. <laughs> like, it helps me sleep. It's okay. It does. I'm like, I'm like, you know what else would help you sleep? Sometimes you gotta lay down the drugs and just actually go to sleep. Yeah, like, exactly. yeah, well, you know what else helps? Closing your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I also have problems, like, with uh, being on my phone at night. I'll stay up till 4 a.m. just scrolling through Instagram or watching Wait. YouTube. Vito, what was it's that? It's a huge problem for me. What? What was that? What did you say? Helps. Hold on. I got to write this down. What? What What? What did I just miss? Uh, Closing your eyes. 
Closing. I've never heard of that. Oh, All right. fucking smart yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah. okay. But I mean, I have a huge problem with that, like being on my phone at night and playing Animal Crossing till it's morning. Um, so I need, uh, so I need melatonin in order to help me sleep. You might need to get some help, bro. Maybe. Okay. But okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and do. This podcast turned into a therapy session. No shit. <laughs> turned into a uh, what's the, what are they called an uh, AA meeting, but for drugs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, what, what, was it Melatonin Anonymous? Yes. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, like we're just like the me, Logan, and Scoots are just the therapists in three separate chairs. You're on the couch. Those are, the, <laughs> Logan and Scoots are like. So when did you start noticing the sleeping? I'm grabbing a I'm grabbing like a chair or something to bash you over the head just so you can get and go to bed. Yeah. Also, I snore a lot, so that's another thing that's uh that's like bad about me. Yeah, I never oh, snore. I know that. <laughs> Scooge just wakes up in the middle of the night like, who the fuck is Leatherface here? What the fuck? That happened. Hold on. Okay, so when Jared was in Ohio, right? He was sleeping yeah. in my bed, and I was sleeping on the couch. Hey, how did oh, you... Oh, boy. And we have this hamster at our house. I was going to be the hamster in Ohio. <laughs> I already lived and in Ohio. He was... A, it was the middle of the night. This hamster had crawled into Jared's pants on my bed and up his shirt and onto his pillow, and Jared screamed at the top of his lungs. I swear, <laughs> I thought he was dying. <laughs> and my parents came running into the room, and he was like, Oh, I swear there's a mouse in here. <laughs> I'm beginning to see. I don't know your parents walked in the room. Yeah, they did. Bro, my dad, I, I swear my dad probably brought in a gun or something. <laughs> he probably would have. And now I'm, beginning to, now I'm beginning to see why Scoots may be a furry. He got a, <laughs> Wait! a, a, freak, no! a freaking hamster cop to feel. Shut the f- <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> This is what the hamster looks like. Real, real footage. Real footage. Yeah, of the like I can show it on here. Oh, why? <laughs> Wrong picture. <laughs> this is what the hamster looks like. So let me ask this, Scoots. Let me let me ask this. <laughs> Did you lose your virginity? <laughs> I'm about to say that. Was there teeth involved? <laughs> Didn't you? It was there dentures. Was eyes. There were eyes staring at me. <laughs> I imagine the hamster having a heart attack, and it's like the squirrel from Hoodwinked right after he had coffee. Bro, and Jared stayed up the rest of the night just watching his cage, seeing if he would break out again. <laughs> and he did. Do you he have scoots? Do you now have a phobia for hamsters or something? No, I have a phobia for somebody trying to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> And yet, you, and yet you crash at Miles' place. <laughs> that yeah, will never happen again. Like every day. That will never happen again. <laughs> You'll never Absolutely sleep at Miles' not. house again? No, that hamster won't. You think that's bad? I remember one time, I remember one time my cat was, was, uh, was chasing something on the ground. I don't know what it was, but like, he was chasing something. All of a sudden, he jumps on my bed, and I, I'm on my phone on my bed, right? I'm just you know, laying down, watching something on YouTube. And then he's, he's, he's like searching for something on my bed. I'm like, what, what is it? And then I just felt something, something fairly heavy. Like it's, it's, it's like, it's not heavy, but it's like, you can tell it got some weight to it. Crawl yeah. on my leg. I looked over. It's a wolf spider, giant one crawl on my leg. I didn't scream or anything, but, um, it was like four o'clock at night. I just kick it so far. It goes flying across my room and I go, whoo. I like literally just stand on my bed. Cause I'm like, I'm terrified. I'm, I don't like spiders. Right. Oh, it, it, was, it, was, it was terrifying. Dude, screw that. <laughs> No, I it's on all my leg though. See, the problem is, if that shit happened to me, I have a hand. I have a handgun next to my bed. <laughs> I legit probably would. Bro, I swear, if that because that same thing that happened, Jared happened to me like a couple months ago, and you know what? I I, I saw it, and it was really dark, so I was like. I felt where it was going, so I, like, choked it out or whatever, and I, li I literally thought it was a rat, and then I got up, 
turned on the turned on the light and it was still alive and it was the hamster. And that hamster that, has been through hell. Yes, it has. <laughs> How is it alive? And, is it still alive? Yeah, it is. It does it have PTSD? <laughs> Did you say no. you head scissor the hamster beneath your leg? I did, bro. I put him f- put it in the headlock and it was not breathing. I thought it was dead, bro. Poor hamster. If it happens again, if it happens again, I told my dad I was like, I'm gonna wake up, get the hamster, go into the garage, get a bat, go outside in the backyard, and then just treat it like it's a baseball. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You put in the fucking dishwasher. Was that fuck? Was the dishwasher fucking <laughs> dishwasher? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> not, not the, the drain? No, no, not the garbage. I, I, don't, I don't know. The garbage disposal? Yes. <laughs> really? You did all that shit. To- How is this hamster alive? I don't know. I'm seriously debating. Why is it alive still? Uh, I, almost right. killed it. I almost killed it. It's been through a lot. Oh yeah, so have I. That Probably more than him. him. I want like that than hamster him. needs more therapy than you do, Miles. Yeah. Probably. I mean, it's seen Jared up close. It's seen me up close. It's seen it's it's got PTSD from me choking it to death almost. <laughs> oh my god. That's- yeah, that hamster's been through a lot. Anyway, next question. Next question. <laughs> how the hell? How the hell did we even get to that point? I don't uh, know what the hell is going know. on anymore. Like <laughs> these are right better now. than the questions I had. <laughs> ask, ask your questions, because I'm just being bullied. <laughs> how are you being bullied? This sounds like the hamster was being bullied. Stop bullying me. <laughs> you know the hamster's being bullied. Poor hamster. I don't care about the hamster. I'm a human <laughs> being. And it's a living <laughs> being. Stall! Oh, I hope he doesn't watch this video. Or doesn't watch this. The hamster? Oh, I don't to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> the hamster watch the Yeah, video? I don't give a shit if I offend that. <laughs> <laughs> the hamster yeah, know. like, Miles, like, whenever you're bored one day, you show your hamster this podcast. I'm like, this will be you if you get out again. So <laughs> it's dead corpse. I was about to say, you wake up the next morning, it's like hanging from the ceiling like the girl from Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, it's just a, it's just a red stain on the floor. Why? <laughs> All of a sudden, you just hear this squeaky voice like, these fuckers are crazy, these fuckers are crazy, these fuckers are crazy. <laughs> I was violated, I was choked out. <laughs> This is what he looks like, uh, Miles. <laughs> this is what he looks like after you were done choking him to death. Oh, hold on. What is it, a it's blue hamster? Zoom. It's gonna be one of them old Zoom Zoom toys. What? <laughs> Copy paste! <laughs> Scoots is having technical difficulties. That's so he's gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> brain is freaking exposed. Like, isn't this the, isn't this the hamster from like Fairly Odd Parents or something? Yeah, exactly. The zombie hamster. Eddie, it's Eddie. Oh, that's a gerbil. Yeah. It's the same ah! animal. It's just giving it a new title. Like, I'm sorry, it's all wrote rat, mice, gerbil, guinea pig, uh, hamster, Whoa. varmint, whatever it is. Vermin. Vermin. They're all vermin. Yes. Like, we're all rodents! Yeah, the extent, that's the reason I got a cat. Because I hate, like, okay, here's like, I don't hate mice, I don't hate rats, I don't hate guinea pigs, I don't hate any of, I hate hamsters, because those fuckers, when they bite, they latch and they stay on. Those motherfuckers one time gave me a piercing on my knuckle. I don't know how this shit, yeah. but I could literally put gauges in between the skin of my knuckles after this freaking hamster bit me. They're tiny, but their teeth are the size of, like, freaking... Uh, forklift tongs or whatever they're called. You know what? Hamsters are, are like midget beavers. You like those though? No, they hurt. Uh, for reference, he just showed a picture of a hedgehog. That's a hedgehog, right? Yeah, mini porcupine. A mini porcupine. Those things are evil too. Those porcupines. <laughs> I, I've heard they're like they're like hard to keep 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 up with, right? What? 
hedgehogs or whatever the hell. Oh happened. yeah, definitely. That little swan thing's getting away from me. I was about to say, especially when yeah, they're yeah, blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jay, you don't want that. Away from my pants. buck shot. Okay. Yeah, Jay, you don't want that thing in your pants. <laughs> I'm about to say it's. Yeah, I really love that. Honestly, it, it actually feels good. Have you ever held a hamster or a fuck? <laughs> you definitely <laughs> held a hamster, yeah. Scoots. You definitely held a hamster. Yeah, I held him in my fucking shorts. No, have you ever held a hedgehog? I was about to say you have definitely held a hamster, Scoots, enough to where the following morning you just see the hamster over in its cage with a cigarette in its mouth, going, "Was it good for you?" Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. Not at all. Did Jared tell you that my parents are probably going to get me one? What? A hedgehog. You can buy those? Yeah. yeah. Really? Hedgehogs? Yeah, that's, you what, can, that's why I said it's not going to take it. Right? Dude, There's a website that I, in Oklahoma, like, you can get them, but, like, she's very discreet. So, like, you have to send a picture of the supplies first, because otherwise, if you don't have the proper, like, supplies to own one, then she won't give it to you. I mean that so, makes that makes sense. I mean, we should really do that with a lot of animals, but yeah. I mean like me personally, I would love to have a snake, but one mm. uh my sister is terrified of them, so no, nah, that ain't going to happen. Uh and two, I have very little money and the snakes that I would get are thousands of dollars. Mm. But okay. I can get a hedgehog too pretty freaking easy. <laughs> I'm so glad they can't see this on uh on the stream. <laughs> of course you would of course, Scooge, you would find a Sonic the Hedgehog body pillow. Dude, Bro, I you know they have a Huntress one? one? They have a Huntress one and a David King one. I don't sure. care! If I don't they had the pig, I would buy it. I don't yeah. give a shit about fucking DVD. Shut up. No one cares what you think. I will leave this podcast. <laughs> and I will go to Gmod chat. <laughs> the door is right beside the voice connected. Gotcha. I was about to say day first and last episode of Creepy Cast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next question. Yes, before we get sidetracked again. Calling me. Hold up, I had I have a couple questions written down that I was gonna ask. I've asked one, and we're already going to like almost fifty minutes. Ask the next 45 of them, please. Okay, next question. Okay, is there a uh, movie, game, or anything like that that you would love to see a relaunch of? Like, like it, not necessarily, like, for games, yeah, like how they've done remakes. Skate 4. What? Skate 4. That's not a relaunch. You want it to be actually made. Yeah, it's going to be made. Yeah, Skate which four. one... You know what I which which one do you want to be made that is not being made? Oh, um... <clears throat> Super uh, Mario 64 for the Switch. Uh, oh, no, that one's already made. It's being made. Nintendo no, Switch is being made. Yes, it is. They probably no. already have the characters there already. It's being made right now. It's being made right now. Right, but is it going to be remastered? Probably not. It's just going to be another port. No, That's it's going to be remastered. No, it's going to be remastered. I highly doubt that. I don't like, highly doubt If they do it. get that, I would pay lots of money for that game. I would not pay for a Switch. I would just pay the original Mario 64. I have the original Super Mario 64. But I would love to see that. I really hope that that goes through. Oh, a game series, honestly, I would like to see having a sequel will probably never happen is uh, Sly Cooper, probably. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is... I would, I would like a remaster of the trilogy. Like, like for the PS4. Stop! Why yeah, are you like the one we have one. I mean, the the one I would say it's actually getting reboot. I mean, not not, not the exact one. <laughs> I, want to be I really want Tony Hawk what? American Wasteland to be to be rebooted. You're cutting out. Let's say I am. You are. Mm-hmm. Not for me. I would love to see GTA Five get a reboot. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the 17th time on PlayStation 74. Uh, on the PS6. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> just watch them not come out with GTA 6. It's just yeah, GTA yeah. 5 remastered on the PS5. That's what they're doing already. Are they? <laughs> Dang. Yeah, it's going to be like a day one thing where, like, on when the PS5 launches, I think, 
I don't know if it's the day of, but pretty much like damn near close to release is when PS5 or GTA 5 is getting a PS5 uh, release. Dang. I mean, I have played it enough to where I don't need to play it again. I've already spent so much money on those shark cards. I don't need another one. <laughs> I yeah. didn't spend any money. No. I mean, no. I mean, okay, America, but as far as Logan saying American Wasteland, I would say either that or the Underground games, one and two. Yeah, under, Underground 2, that, that would be my second pick. But they are remastering the pro the pro skater games, yeah. one and two. And that's, like, that's going to be, like, really cool, like, nostalgia purposes. Yeah. I mean... And they're not doing, they're not ma- they're not adding like physics to the. You know how like uh the new games, the new pro skate has like physics where like it's like they ragdoll when they get when they go down, but they're actually going back to their old roots, you know, to where they don't ragdoll and all that kind of stuff, which is good. I wonder how this Logan, is gonna. Could you imagine uh, an Arkham Asylum re like retexture or like you know? Like, they already did. They did. Yeah, it's called yeah, Return they, they to Arkham. It looks, yeah, yeah, Return to Arkham looks like Arkham Knight. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's, cool. that's been out for what about two years? Yeah, yeah, it's not that old. What was it? I how I think there's like there's only one way to really get that game. How is is it like a? Oh, it I be like it, Epic Game well, Store. Did it came with like the 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 Batman yeah. PS4? Uh, you're talking about the uh yeah. what the Arkham Revisited or whatever it was called. You talking about that? Yeah, how can you get? I never saw it. Like, I never saw it for like, you know, like, you know purchase. Like, how in the world do you get that game anyway? It, there's a physical copy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you can buy. It yeah, like I've that. got, I've got one. I mean, I've got the Dude. physical copy of Return to Arkham. But the only thing I was bummed, and I, <clears throat> I know I'm on an island with this, but I liked Arkham Origins. Yeah, yeah I, like, I like, I like Arkham Origins. I mean, you haven't finished it. I mean, I would I would have loved Arkham Origins to have been involved in the Return to Arkham thing, but it was just Asylum and City. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, those are really good games. Uh, Origins is definitely the worst one out of those four, but I feel like it... it, it I love the story of Origins almost a little better than Asylum. You know what? I'll tell you one thing. Um, I think the best atmosphere in an Arkham game has to be Asylum. The best atmosphere, but mm-hmm. I think a close second would have to be Origins because I love the Christmas atmosphere too. It gives a lot of Batman Return vibes, you know. Yeah, that and I love the concept of not necessarily a battle royale system because I'm not a fan of battle royales, but like mm-hmm. the concept of all these <laughs> assassins trying to go after Batman. And not knowing who you're going to run into. And, like, literally, it's like, what was it? Eight assassins against Batman once. Right. And I love that concept of overwhelming odds. It's why I love these, like, Soulsborne games. Obviously, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, uh, Neo, Sekiro, uh, Code Vein, uh, Salt and Sanctuary. Stuff like that. Where it's like, feasibly, there should be no way to beat these guys but after you do you get this like huge adrenaline rush and i love that aspect of like going above and beyond an insurmountable odds in a game it kind of makes you feel good yeah it may be a more difficult challenge but after you go through it it just that's just to me i love the concept of getting past a part that you've struggled with that victory that you feel i mean that's yeah. I mean, that's kind of why I go after Platinums on PS4 is because there's a few of them that are like holy hell hard trophies, but after you get them, it's like that small victory. And then after the Platinum pops, that is like the best feeling for me I've ever had. And I'm going to say it outright. It's better than sex I've had with some of my exes. <laughs> They're not watching. Even if they are, go fuck yourself. <laughs> You know what? That that's that's one reason. It's very controversial, I guess, but I I like them. But I think the I think that's a, another reason why I still go back to physical copies instead of emulating uh, PS2 games. Because the reason why is because 
when you play PS2 games, you can't just save outright. Like on an emulator, you can just hit file and then save wherever you are. Wherever you are, where you know, if you're paused, it'll load to pause, right? Yeah. But on PS2, you can't do that. You know, you have certain stations, and that makes it more fun in the end, you know, than just saving outright anywhere you want. Which I mean, in emulators for me anyway, I have a hard I have a hard time not uh not doing that whole uh save thing. <laughs> It's definitely a matter of convenience when it comes to emulators, and I think that's another reason why I don't like using them, that and just because they don't always look as good. Even on my very expensive computer, I can run an emulator on a game, but on my PS2, it'll still look better on the PS2. Because there's just something different about it. Yeah, I disagree with though, because you probably have to mess with the settings, because you can make a game look like it's on like the PS4, and it came for the PS2. I mean, yeah, like, but I played, there's like... I played RE4, and it looked like a PS4 game. Well, it is now, anyway. Yeah, but you know. Right. But that's the thing. There's a difference between, like, the game looking exceedingly pretty, as far as graphically speaking, and it looking right. <laughs> and that's another reason, like, for the... Now, obviously, you all know I'm an absolute massive Silent Hill fan. Well, Silent Hill 1, yes. 2, 3 somewhat for in origins but beyond that we will not speak of um which is why you're gonna play dead by daily with us no i am livid about the selection of characters they have done with the dead by daylight silent hill oh yeah here's i am too because here look okay this is me going off on a tangent of my own so i apologize but it god damn it is my podcast um <laughs> uh with the <laughs> dead by daylight silent hill release it is pyramid head and Heather. Mm -hmm. Those two do not belong to Geta. Well, you know, I, I can debunk your whole, your whole thing, okay? Oh, please. Uh, uh, please. All enlighten right, me. All right, all right. All right. Because <laughs> D DVD does this with, with everything else. Uh, Saw, they have uh, they have Pig and they have... Um, Detective. Fuck, Detective. Yeah, they never they never confronted each other in the, in the whole movie. That's just what they do. Are you? Yeah, they did. They never confronted each other. Cause isn't she the one who slid his neck open? No, that w that was uh fucking John Kramer. Okay, yeah. Are, okay, so you're less saying the pig. You're saying more Amanda Young. Yeah, yeah, M Amanda Young, and no, but it, there's no male pig in the the, the Dead by Daylight, so it has to be Amanda Young. So it's Amanda Young and Detective Tap. They never confront each other in the movies. It's just something they do. I mean, I watched movies. I'm a big fan of Saw, and I didn't really get mad at it. But I mean, that's just what they do, you know. Well, that's the thing. Like, like Silent Ellen. Hill has been like. To me, there's not been a better horror game that has released uh, since Silent Hill 3. The closest one that I'm going to say is, and it's a rare game, and I am pissed that I sold it when I was younger because I'm absolutely livid. There was this game... Yeah, how much did you sell it for? Huh? How much did you sell it for? Oh, God, man. I was like 14 when I sold it, so I don't recall. Definitely not enough considering now the game goes for like 300 bucks on eBay. Um, I, I could be wrong about that price. I know I'm mad at myself, but there was a game called Rule of Rose for the PS4 that was kind of in the same vein as, like, not necessarily Silent Hill, but that level of horror tension. Because a lot of horror games nowadays is all jump scares and environment. And yeah, it's creepy, it's unsettling, but <clears throat> Silent Hill's been a game that, or a game uh, franchise, or at least the first four, in my opinion, that had the atmosphere enough to where you felt uneasy. Not you were scared, yes, but you felt more like there was something wrong, like that little, like that feeling of being watched, that little chill up your spine. And a lot of games nowadays don't have that; they just have the fear factor. That's what I, I want. Good horror games this year. Uh, you know what? Outlast, Outlast one gave me that feeling that I haven't found a game since. I do love Outlast. Yeah. <clears throat> Outlast One was was, God, a great game. I, I really wish. Um, aren't they making Outlast Three? Yes, they are. I was unaware of this. This is actually good to know. Yes, they are making Outlast Trials, right, Jared? Is it called Outlast Trials? Yeah. Yeah, the Outlast Trials. They released uh, nothing but just like the name, and that's about it. And like no, they, 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 released they, trailer. they released a trailer, like a. a yeah, it, it's just like the name trailer. It just shows like the name and like. No. Spooky music and shit. You didn't see the actual gameplay? They released gameplay? Yeah. Not, it was in the trailer. 
Oh, I saw like the well, very, hang on. very was it very actual first... like it was just a cinematic trailer where it showed what the game would look like, or was it actual gameplay? Both. Really? Yeah, I'll send it to you real quick. Hold on. Right, I'll watch yeah. it after this is done. I'm in the main lobby. Yeah, main def lobby. Yeah, definitely do that. But Outlast was definitely. I loved the first one, but the only thing I. I was mad about for Outlast 1, and it wasn't necessarily Outlast 1, it was the Whistleblower DLC. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, recorded it for my channel, and I think I only got two episodes out of it. It was really short. Yeah. And that was the only, th that was the only thing that was bummed. It was, technically, if you, from start to finish, knew exactly where you were going and just began to fly through it, you could probably beat <laughs> it in two hours. Oh, yeah. That's what, because whenever... Logan, me, Logan, and Jared. Jared's never played it before, so Logan and I had to like constantly like wait out for him because we knew exactly where we're going. <laughs> in the games, and we like had to help out Jared and whatnot to see like where where we were going and stuff. But we we flew through it. <clears throat> I mean, Outlast one. Uh, my brain just turned off for a second. But <laughs> like, my thing is. With Outlast, the atmosphere was great, but it, I felt like the only complaint I have with Outlast, and this is just splitting hairs, but I felt like it was drawing more on the shock value of the scares as opposed to the actual yeah. tension building. Because obviously there was uh, heavy, not necessarily heavy rape influences, or, or not influences. At themes, least in, the, in the second one and in the Whistleblower DLC there was. <laughs> I feel like there was more... In Outlast 2, yes, that's why I refuse to play it. Um, but with the Whistleblower, I think it was less rape. I think it was more genital mutilation, and I don't really necessarily consider that rape. Yeah. Because nothing's going in. Something is rip being ripped off. Yeah. But with, like, uh, Outlast 1, the base game, with... Oh, fuck off. Meet your one drive thing on PC, whatever. Uh, but with Outlast 1... <laughs> The scene where you run into both the twins, the naked guys, because mm -hmm. um, they even talk about, I don't know, I don't recall if they ever talk about actually raping your character, but they definitely talk about eating him, but yeah. with the, with the uh, guy, like this was just a split second event, like you, it was like 10 seconds and done, but when you climbed up a hole in the ceiling lifted up and your it was pitch black so you had to turn on your light looked over and you saw one guy having sex with a headless corpse yeah what i never read i never knew that you don't know that yeah. no oh so he, you walk past him yeah Jeez, he's the guy he's the guy me? that calls you a sick fuck in the game yeah he calls me a sick Okay. Yeah, because like, because like his thing was like, "Oh, you like to watch? Is that it?" Yeah, but Jeez. I know, but like again, I feel like Outlast had a little bit more of the shock value, and I think that's where a lot of horror games are going is just either jump scare heavy or basically a gore porn. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> like Saw, pretty much. Yeah, Saw was great. I loved it. Well, okay, to be fair, I loved the first few of them. Mm -hmm. After that, it kind of became repetitive for the Saw yeah, movies. Fucking, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. What? Did you see the new Jigsaw movie? Like, when did it get released? I think like, 2019. Are you, talking about, are you talking about the one that was like pretty much like a Netflix exclusive kind of thing? Or. Yeah, uh, 2017. Oh, it was in 2017. Okay. Yeah, it, okay. It was like okay. Then, yeah. I. I. Yeah. I saw that. That was. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that was more fan service than it was about being a Saw movie. Yeah. I feel like it was more of a spinoff than an actual direct sequel. But that's. Just, but I mean, to that's to uh, Token Bell was in it. I mean, yeah, but I feel like that was definitely more of. Uh, I feel like that was more. Again, fan service. Now, I love that uh, Dumb Bell was in it, but yeah. I feel like, again, it was more fan service than anything else. Yeah, but also, that's like, um, like, Dumb Bell has to be in Jigsaw. Like, that's just a, ha that, that's like not having, um, 
what's her name is Lori Strode. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. That's like not having because she's still she is still Lori Strode. Like no one, she no one else will cast for it. I don't think because she's gonna be in the new one too. See, I still haven't okay. seen the new Halloween at all. The one with Jamie it's, Lee Curtis is an older woman. It's surprisingly good. I was shocked because I love Halloween. I love those movies. I was really surprised with it. It's a really good movie. <clears throat> I mean, the only issue I have with like the relaunches is just because I kind of got, I was very disappointed in like their, we'll say relaunch of a way uh, of a sort is because of the new Friday the 13th was absolute garbage. Oh yeah. And then the Friday the 13th fucking Jason used a bow and arrow. What the fuck? He used bear traps too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I feel like I feel like they like released that movie like just for like to add a different element to Jason. But the thing is, you never saw Jason run in the originals. He like did a brisk jog. Yeah, that's about it. But like in the new movie, he sp- straight up and down sprinted. <laughs> But also, that movie was... Yeah, really I have never like, seen that. But it was no, also... Now we need to watch it. this. So. Plus, like, I, I, know, I know he ran in part two. What are you guys talking about? Friday the 13th. I, I know he ran in part two, but, like, after part two, he never ran. <clears throat> right. But, like, even in part two, I barely consider that, like, a brisk jog, like, with... In the new Friday the Thirteenth, it was like he was he was like he was running from something that was scarier than him, kind of run. All right, with the new no, I think they went back to origin, didn't they? What did, did they did they make uh, the new Friday the Thirteenth like a um? It was there a remake or was it like a a, a sequel to the uh, older ones? Because if so, I'm gonna be mad. I think it was just a spinoff. Yeah, it was. Basically, it told the story of. <laughs> Jason Voorhees, like his backstory, but they redid it in a way that made it seem like it's not. It, it, aside from the name alone, I feel like it did not follow the original source whatsoever. But that's just me, and I feel like they did the same thing for the Evil with or not Evil Within. That's a game. The Evil Dead remake. First off, I don't know how many of you two have seen the original Evil Dead. But Ooh, yeah, for here's the thing: in the original, it was uh, Bruce Campbell and like all the other actors. It was obviously an indie film. Like I think everybody got paid like a hundred bucks every time, or I think like a hundred bucks a week or something like that, because nobody could work like consecutively. So when they got together, it was like, okay, we need to do this now. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Um, mm. But. It was shot so well that you kind of don't notice it. With yeah. the evil, the original Evil Dead, it was everybody's just hanging out on a weekend, just tr- the traditional uh, 70s slasher thing, like everybody's out getting drunk and stuff like that. They find the book, not thinking anything of it, read it, and all of a sudden, oh shit, now their friends are possessed. In the remake... Everybody's going out there not to party, but to get one the main character's sister sober. Like, they're getting th- her through detox. Mm-hmm. So, literally, it is the polar opposite. In the first one, they want to get fucked up. In the remake, they want to keep the sister off of drugs. Oh, wait, you're talking about Evil Dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but, like... That's why I don't really. That's why I didn't watch the new Halloween with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis as she is currently a uh, mature woman. That's why I didn't watch it because I was afraid it was going to be an absolute garbage. But after realizing that it was a continuation, it was a true sequel. It wasn't a relaunch. It's it's a sequel from okay. So imagine the first two movies, right? Right. The first two movies are like pretty much side by side, and it's probably just gonna be one movie. Imagine that, but after the second movie's done, the new one comes out. Forget all of the other Halloweens are out, are out the window. Forget about them. Absolutely the- agree with that anyway. But all right. Yeah, and that's where the third one. That's where the new one takes place. It's pretty much a third one. Because like in the <laughs> third movie. Uh, I think it was called Season of the Witch. Michael Myers, I don't think, was even in it. 
No. It was just, uh, I think it's niece, right? Yeah. It was mostly about her. <clears throat> At least, I'm, uh, yeah. But, but, like, he wasn't even in it, so it wouldn't. It should not have been a Halloween movie. Yeah. But that's just me. Okay. But that's what the new one focuses on. is like, it's pretty much after the first and second one, then there's the new one, and that's it. Like, he's been in jail for 40 years, and he finally escapes, and that's what it is. And that's how Laurie Strode's so old. They really did a good job on the story, I think. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, all right, let's do the final question, then we'll call it at the end of this, uh, of this recording session. <laughs> Yes. Okay, and it's all been video game related, but we don't really stick with video games all that much. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, what has been a video game that the majority of the public outright despised that you loved? Oh. Mm. Spider Man Three, the video game. Ha! <laughs> Even Scoots had to chuckle at that one. I mean, come on. I, I mean, I, well, here's the thing. I grew up with it. I could tell it was god awful. It was, it was a terrible game, but I still loved it because I was little and it was Spider Man. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's why I liked it. I'm curious to hear y'all's though. See, I'm I'm uh, mine's odd, but like I grew up with it too. But I also realized that not a lot of people have played it at all. Like whenever I had asked people, "Hey, have you played uh, Jack and Daxter?" They're like, no, what is that? I'm like, it's a PS2 game. How have you not played it? Hold up. That's one that I think. Hold up. The problem one of the popular ones, I'm going to say, hold up. Like, Jack and Daxter was loved. Yeah. I didn't know that because, like, I thought, oh, this is just, like, a game that I used to play. And I asked people about it, and they said, I've never heard of it. Uh, I'm like. I would say, Jack and Daxter, that was Naughty Dog, right? Yeah. I mean. I feel like that's not covering the criteria here, Miles, but no. Yeah. <laughs> from what I hear, like, I didn't, I, I, from people that I've talked to, they've said it was bad, and I'm like, well, and then I get second opinions, and it's like, well, whatever. Well, uh, since, since answers are short, I have another one. All right. I know, I know Vito said he didn't like it. Godfather, the video game. Mm. <laughs> I, feel- I loved it. Such I a was great game. bored. Atmosphere. So what? I was bored when I played it. You was bored? So you just trash on my childhood game? Uh, you can <laughs> trash on mine whenever I say it. I actually got two. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Vito. Okay. I love the soundtrack of that game too. Okay. Uh, one of these is nostalgic for me, kind of like how you guys grew up with those games. One of them is a PS3 game, but I'll do my childhood first. Obviously, everybody knows about Final Fantasy VII on the PS1. Right? Yeah. There was a game that came out pretty close to it that, in my opinion, was better than Final Fantasy VII. Hmm. The Legend of Dragoon. Never heard of it. <laughs> exactly. And that's like, because it got, <laughs> it got buried by Final Fantasy VII. The Legend of Dragoon was, when I first picked it up, uh,. It was like, okay, I was like, okay, this looks cool. I mean, I like turn-based RPGs. I liked I liked Final Fantasy VI um, and a couple other ones. I didn't play 1, 2, and 3. Although I think I played 4? I think I played 4 and 6, and I liked those. Then Final Fantasy VII came out, and I went to go pick it up, uh, and it was either that or this other game. And in all honesty, I liked the cover better of Legend of Dragoon. But what Legend of Dragoon was, was kind of the still like similar like combat mechanics, except this one is a little bit more interactive. With like Final Fantasy VII, you just press the button and they attack, and there was like a random bit of damage that you could do. With Legend of Dragoon, there was a rhythm aspect of it whenever you attack to essentially make your combo go a little longer and increase the damage, so you felt more involved with the attacks. So, like, in the center of the screen, there would be this, like, rotating sphere or square, something like that, that would clo- closely approach either uh, X, uh, circle, square, or triangle, and you would have to press these in a rhythm and learn the rhythm, and you would eventually get uh, a higher damage output. And, and I love the more active of it, because, like, with, like, turn-based games, you press the button and you just wait until the turn is done. With Legend of Dragoon, 
it was you were more involved even in the even after you press the attack itself and i loved loved it for that plus the game was four discs long and i oh. yeah I, I i i recently bought it and i do not like buying from ebay but i did buy legend of dragoon on the ps1 and a ps1 for the sole purpose of playing it again and i think it took me about 5 to 6 hours I think it was actually closer to six or seven to be just the first disc for a game like that for the PS one era, having a six hour game was great on the PS one era. Having four discs set, having the same story, like continuation of the story. That was great for me. The problem is it disappeared into the, into the, uh, into the nether. It was just gone. Minecraft. <clears throat> yeah. You feel like it should have been up there? I feel like it should have been... I feel like it should have been more popular than what it was. Now, Final Fantasy VII was fine. I had no beef with it whatsoever. But I feel like Legend of Dragoon got buried for it because of Final Fantasy VII is the reason why I kind of have a little bit of disdain for Final Fantasy VII is because it kind of took away from the game that I loved. Now, saying that, the other game that I absolutely love that critics absolutely hated other players absolutely hated they were going to make a sequel to it but because of the poor uh reception to it they canceled the sequel and i'm still pissed off about that it's a game called clive barker's jericho again never heard of it <laughs> god damn i'm old um, you and your fucking egyptian style games like way back then <laughs> Uh, what Clive Barker's Jericho was about, uh, if you guys don't know, Clive Barker was an author. Actually, Clive Barker is the guy who wrote Hellraiser. P uh, Pinhead? Ooh. Yeah, Cl uh -huh. Clive Barker is the guy who wrote Pinhead as the book. Bam. He made a game called Jericho. What it was is a military-style uh, game where all the guys in the military were basically, for lack of a better term, witches. What they were part of is a group called uh, a covert occult warfare. There were different people that you could ha uh, transfer to to play in first-person shooter mode. Uh, first-person shooter, not necessarily mode, but style of gameplay, but you know what I mean. Each one of these characters had their own special powers. They had two variants of their powers. Like There was one character who was the sniper, and she had Ghost Bullet. And I know uh, Sniper Elite kind of had this. But I feel like this game did it better. You could shoot and drag the bullet and just kind of see these guys, like, react to the hit. I mean, yes, you, you don't get the x-ray kill like you do in Sniper Elite, but I still loved it. There was one character who had a minigun as his main weapon. But what he could also do was there was a pyramid-like thing on his right arm that was sealed. He pressed a button, opened it up. His hand was burned to a crisp Freddy Krueger style. But what would happen, it, was re it would release a fire demon that would attack the enemies and just essentially set them on fire. But you could only hold it out for so long before you started to see this guy's arms start to fizzle and pop and blister. And it was so good. And I am so... I hate the <laughs> fact that it was so... Like, yes, it, the story of it was a little bit meh. But I still love the story, uh, even though it wasn't reviewed all that well. Damn. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah, I, I got one game everyone hated. Everyone. And I was the only one who loved it. The Seer Gate. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I, have, I have an actual one. No, Nancy is the best character in that game. <laughs> okay, I know Scoot's got one. One second. Scoot. For those of you who don't know who's watching this video, Surrogate is the game Logan designed and I helped write and Scoots wrote the music for. Okay, uh, Scoots, what was yours? So there is this one game. It was on the PS2 and Xbox 360, you know, when they used to do that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't received very well, but it was Mercenaries 2. Mercenaries 2. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do I know that name? World in Flames, made by Pandemic Studios. Hang on, I'm looking this up. This sounds so familiar. Mer Edward. Mercenary 2. World of... 
oh yeah, this game. Yeah, a lot of people did not like it. I had a blast on that game, though. It's actually weird. I'm looking at the reviews, or at least on Google right now. It says that GameStop gave it a 3.7 out of 5 at GameStop. Like, okay, that's about average. But Google users said 95% liked this video game. Well, I mean, like, game critics and stuff, like, when IGN... Right, but I just thought, like, it was that clear cut between GameStop and Google reviews. This is why you can't trust reviews. Yeah. I guess. (laughs) But I played it, Scoots, and I agree with you. It was a solid game. Now, it wasn't my favorite, but it was definitely a solid game. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was, like, around the time when I started playing the Just Cause series and Crackdown quite a bit. It was, like, that giant open world game with a bunch of mayhem. Games are pretty fun. I'm about to say, pretty much just unleash hell and just watch the chaos ensue. Oh, yeah. Like exactly. GTA. I wish you could set fire to buildings in GTA, though. That would right. be so fun. GTA 5, PS5 edition. All right, well, one thing, though. The first game you think of when I say the best game ever, like whatever the first one is, like when you think of is like, say it out. I just want to hear it. Silent Hill 3. Halo 3. Um... Well, Miles is going to say Dead by Daylight. I was just about to say, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm say Jack and Daxter for me, the first one. The second one's trash. The only thing that came to me was Detroit Become Human. Really? Best. I haven't played that game yet. Is it good? It's very good. It's not hmm. a game, though. It, it's, it, it's like, a, it's like a, a walking simulator, if that, I guess. Like, it's like a novel. It's it's made by the same guys who did Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Yeah. It's like a yeah, you get to choose your own endings and all that. Yeah, there's like forty two different endings to this game. Hmm. So it's like Witcher Three. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got that pretty fun. Yeah. The the only real issue I have with Detroit Become Human, and I loved the game, but the problem is is that I, I'm a, I'm a, a trophy hunter, and to get the trophy, some of those trophies for that game is to get all 42 endings. So I would have to beat the game 42 times. Damn. Yeah, screw that. I, I mean, I would probably do it because the game itself is a great story, and I would love to see how different aspects change because choices definitely do matter in this game. But 40. Two times. Dang. You have to play through the game 42 times? To get some of the trophies to get all the endings. Dang. I mean, there's a... I would love to get the platinum for it, but the problem is of that one trophy. You want a game that has over 700 uh, achievements to get? Oh, God. What is it? Halo. (laughs) Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah, Halo Master Chief Collection. Hang on, I'm... Oh, that's okay. I, I, it's not trophies. That's achievements. I don't have it on PS4. Uh, I mean, if it came out on PlayStation, I would definitely get it. But it's a Microsoft game, so I seriously doubt that's going to occur. <laughs> How long is podcast? Uh, sea of Thieves is on Steam now. What? Sea of Thieves. Right. There's been a bunch of like Xbox exclusive games that have come uh, to Steam, but. And PS4 exclusives. I yeah, I saw a couple Horizon. of those. Yeah, I saw Horizon a Horizon cu- Zero Dawn. I need to play that. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes, I do definitely recommend everybody here play that game. It is so beautiful. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, we've been recording for long enough, so I think this is going to be the end of the first ep- first session of Creepy Cast. So. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, once again, this has been Creepy Uncle Vito, Miles, Logan, and Scoots. Logan Z Gaming. Yeah, Logan Z Gaming. Uh, Dancing King 53, <laughs> a.k.a. Miles, and Scoots, a.k.a. Scoots. Right. Hope you all have a good one.